Hey everybody, it's Lilo with another Monster High doll unboxing. Uh, this time we're going to go through my Christmas haul. I got five dolls in December for Christmas and I've been saving them to open for a video. So I'm really excited to finally get to open my Christmas presents. So let's start. First we have Jane Boo Little. She's the daughter of Dr. Boo Little. You can see her here. That's her illustration. She's sort of kind of like a, a witch doctor or something along those lines. Um, this is her box. It's a really cool box. Red and black. And then her story on the back with her pet sloth, which is adorable. I love her sloth. So that's Jane Boo Little. We'll come back to her out of the package. I also got another Catty Noir. Um, she's from the the Scaremester uh, line. It's a new line of some of the other characters that were maybe not made as much before. I think this is only like the second Catty. Or Catherine Demuge. I call her Catty Noir. Did I say the wrong name? Anyway. Um, that's her on the front, and she's an artist, so she's got all of her school supplies and art stuff, and she looks really cute. Here on the back is a little bit more of her story, and her cute illustration. I also got one I've been looking for for probably a year since the Power Goals collection debuted which is um, Catastrophe, which is the uh, Torlai in her super villain outfit, which is so cute. And she's been super hard to find at Target. So and she's a Target exclusive, as you see. Um, and I just couldn't find her forever, so she was the last of all the power ghouls. I have all the other ones, and it's one of my favorite lines, if not my absolute favorite line of dolls. Um, and here's her little tail on the back. Her story about her, um, her super villain. She's so cute. I also got two from the new Frights Camera Action line, which is really exciting. Um, these are brand new characters. This one is Elizabeth. You can see her in here. She is a, a vampire, a vampire queen, I think. If uh, I saw the trailer for the DVD that's going to come out with this story, so she's something like a vampire queen. She looks a little bit like Draculaura, but different. Um, and here's a little bit more about her on the back. She has such a cute little dress. So, so excited when there's new characters. And my most excited uh, new doll is Honey Swamp, which is another of the new characters that came in the Frights Camera Action line. And she is such a cool doll. She has curly hair, which no one else does like that. Um, and she is the daughter of the Swamp Monster of Hollywood. Um, she is so cute. And... You can kind of see her little story on the back. Honey Swamp. <laughs> what a cool character. So now I'm going to unbox them and show them to you. All right, I'm back. And that was an ordeal. If you've ever taken one of these dolls out of the package, it's tough work. And with five of them, my office is filled with box parts and plastic bits and mess. total mess right now. <laughs> but let's go ahead and look at the dolls up close. First, we'll look at uh, Jane Boo Little. This is her, her a little bit up close. She has sort of a light purple skin color with black hair with pink streaks, as you can see, and a cute little headband. Her clothes are kind of, I don't know, maybe like a voodoo tribal sort of thing going on with little skulls on her, her belt and feathers here on her shoulders. She's got armbands and little bracelets and black leggings. And then 
these cool shoes that are asymmetrical, uh, blue sandals with feathers and snakes and all sorts of coolness going on. See her here. Um, I really like her style. She's very different. She's sort of a unique sort of look. There's not any that I really like her very much. So she's pretty cool. I like her. Jane Boo Little. She comes with a pet sloth. Like I said, he's really cute. He looks like he can latch onto things like your finger. <laughs> and she has a little purse that goes with her outfit. And another cool thing is she comes with this little walking stick, which is actually a marker. So you can draw with it, which is really neat. And here's her diary, so you could read through and get to know her a little bit. She has a diary. Next up is Catherine Demieu. Um, she's a cat girl. And uh, she's kind of, she's got white skin and lavender hair with uh, stripes in it. Her hair is longer on this doll. Her original doll has kind of short hair, so this is a little bit longer. It's a little bit frizzed out from being in the package, a little bit of a mess. Need to brush that, but her style is really cute. It's almost like a 50s retro sort of style. Her sweater is actual like knitted sweater material. It's real soft. Which is so cute. She's got a little neck scarf. And then her dress. Striped with uh, little ruffles on the end. And bracelets. She has a bow on her tail. Because <laughs> of course if you had a tail you'd put a bow on it. I mean, of course. Logically. And then uh, little purple short high heel things. She's pretty simple but I really like her style. And I really like this fabric. It's really cute. She comes with a, a purple bag, tote bag, and a little, and a little eye coffin phone thing. And she also has a little diary that's her planner for school. Gotta see her stuff. A little map of the campus, which is cool. The notes. And next up we have Catastrophe. Um, Torlai Stripe has Catastrophe. This is her second doll. Her first doll has really short hair, but this one has long hair and a ponytail and a bit with uh, stripes in it, which is a little stiff from the glue and the packaging. Um, but I, I like her long hair ponytail. It's really cute. And she's got her little kind of Catwoman mask, which is cute. And then this tiger striped jumper jumpsuit thing which is so cute and uh, little gloves and bracelets it's her tiger stripes and then she's got red boots stompers <laughs> so those are cool she definitely looks like a super villain so gotta dig catastrophe she comes with a comic book of course a little bit of her story She's super cool. And next from the Frights camera action, we have Elizabeth. She's the um, vampire. So she's kind of the same color as Dracula, which is like a light pink. You can hardly tell here. Um, she's got black and purple hair kind of striped in there. It's long. I, I like her. She's kind of like a the traditional goth sort of look, you know, the, the dark hair and the dark eyes and lipstick and uh, the black and purple dress that's sort of almost Victorian with the corset. That's just such a cute dress. Like, I would wear that in real life, you know, <laughs> with the little fluffy stuff on the side and the ruffles. That's just cute, you know. That's a great dress. So, I like her style. Kind of a cool vamp. And then really elaborate black boots with all these patterns and bows and buckles and things all over them. She's a cute little character. I like her. 
She also comes with a little eye coffin thing. And some sort of award, like a like an Oscar or something that I guess they're movie stars. I don't know the story yet, but she's got an award. And then her diary. And last, but absolutely certainly not least, is Honey Swamp. Um, out of the package, you can see here she's a she's like a swamp thing monster girl. So she sort of has almost like a snaky looking eyes and and uh, fangs. And her hair, like I said, is just so cool. It's a uh, very curly and soft. Um, big fluffy curls with her little hat. It is so cool. I just love that they came up with a unique texture of hair so it's different because a lot of the dolls have the same hair and nobody really has curly hair but I love hers. It's so cute. Um, and she has a little dress with pattern on it which is really neat and then a, a belt. And her skin has this cool spirally texture on it which is really neat. And then she's got these funky pink shoes um, that look almost like snakes and they have teeth on them. Um, but I just love Honey Swamp. I love her hair. She's so cute. So cute. She comes with a camera and a little, um, little board. So I don't know what, what she does, but she's got these. Here's her diary. Tell a little bit more about her, what her deal is. And that's it. That's all of my Christmas haul Monster High dolls. So I really love all of them. And special shout out and thank you to my husband who got all these for me for Christmas for being the best and getting the best presents. So thank you so much and thanks for watching.